Shalom, and welcome to Bible Stories as Blueprints of the Soul, your Biblical Hebrew podcast. Shalom, and welcome to our Biblical Hebrew podcast. Today, I wish to speak to you about the term Lechem Hapanim. Lechem Hapanim. In English, showbread. Unlike in English, that a showbread has one dimension, when we say this term or think about it, in Hebrew, it has various dimensions. The word panim in Hebrew means face. When Facebook was known in the world and it came to Hebrew speakers, everybody was laughing about the name Facebook because they translated into Hebrew and they say Sefer HaPanim. Sefer HaPanim. This is how they call it. So first meaning of panim, the word panim, is face. Not just face, human face, but even face. When you want to describe the landscape, in Hebrew we say pnei ha'aretz, the face of the country. It has multi-layered meaning, the word face, also an aspect. The same letters of the word panim, with a different pronunciation, give us the term pnim, pnim. Inner or interior. A person who is interior designer, in Hebrew we say me'atsev pnim. Me'atsev pnim. So, what did we learn so far? That the word panim means face, aspect, general description, pnei ha'aretz, and also the word pnim means inner or interior. So before we come to discuss about the term lechem ha-panim, we see that the word panim or pnim has various dimensions. In the sources we find why this bread was named lechem ha-panim. Because this bread, when it was on the table, it used to turn lifnot pone. It used to turn everybody's equally, meaning it was round. He used to show his face to this side and to this side and to this side and to this side equally. So the showbread, Lechem HaPanim, was round. This is one aspect. This is to speak about the term externally. So far we just express the frame of thinking. But when we come to abstract... We have to go to another dimension, to the dimension of letters and numbers. The word panim is written in four letters. Pei, Nun, Yod, Memsufit. The letter Pei equals 80. The letter Nun equals 50. So together they make 130 plus Yod, they make 140 plus Memsofit, which is 40. Together, they make 180. 180 is an interesting number. 18. Now we speak about the number 18 without the zero because zero is nothing. 18 in Hebrew means Chai. Chai, alive. Alive. The word chai we write with two letters, chet and yod. Chet equals eight, yod equals ten. Together they make eighteen. And ten times eighteen, ten times full portion, full covenant of eighteen gives us one hundred and eighty, the volume of the word panim. Now we have to add to this. The word lechem, lechem, the word lechem is written in Hebrew with 
three letters, Lamed Chet Mem Sufit, Lamed equals 30, Chet equals 8, together they make 38, plus Mem Sufit, which is 40, together they make 78. 78 is the sum of three times the tetragrammaton. One tetragrammaton is 26, Yod, Hey, Vav, Hey is 26. Three times the tetragrammaton is 78. So, what is the meaning of this term, Lechem, Hapanim? When a person sees or eats bread, he feels that the inner of creation is turning at him. Another word about the word panim. When the Bible wants to describe the intimacy that Moses had with God, the Bible mentions that Moses was speaking to God, and I will say the Hebrew term, panim. El Panim. Again, Panim El Panim. In English, we would say face to face. What does it mean, Panim El Panim, face to face, in terms of abstract? Panim in Hebrew is 180. So, Panim El Panim is 180, which is half a cycle, because in one cycle we have 360 degrees. So, panim el panim, meaning 180 degrees, 10 times alive, against versus 10 times alive, and then we have 360. This is a full intimacy. Panim el panim, 180 against 180, and then we have 360, which is the degrees in full cycle. Another meaning of the term face to face, panim el panim, is not just panim face to face, but panim el panim. The inner of Moses speaks to inner of God, and then we have a full intimacy, the top relation that any of us can get. So I hope this topic was not too complex to follow. If you have more questions, please write to us. Wishing you a beautiful day, wonderful year, and infinite love. Thank you for listening to Bible Stories as Blueprints of the Soul. We hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you have any questions, comments, or would like to hear more about a certain topic, just write us an email to hebrew at learnoutlife.com. We are always happy to hear from you. For more episodes, videos, and articles like this, please visit our website at hebrew.learnoutlife.com. We also would like to invite you to join our live classes. Just search for Online College of Biblical Hebrew on Facebook and start learning now with students from all over the world. Kol Tuv and Shalom.